All right. So this is our second immersive meditation, which will focus on investigating and activating our knowing through a process of identification with Nicholas Rorick's painting called Santana, painted in 1937. So for those of you who participated yesterday, there'll be a repetition of the context for the meditation. And as MM says, repetition can strengthen foundation. I'll speak to three key thoughts guiding the process and describe the meditative process before we engage with it. So firstly, the art of thinking and regeneration of thought. As we know from the statement by the Great One, those who do not help the regeneration of thinking are no friends of the new world. A guiding principle for our work in Sydney, Australia has been a sloka that speaks to how we may regenerate thinking. A key thought we've been working with for some time comes from Fiery World 1541. The art of thinking must be completely and consciously regenerated, but without understanding the three worlds, it's impossible to raise thinking to a new level. The three worlds are the fiery, the subtle, and the manifest worlds. An understanding of the three worlds requires that we first of all accept the reality of their existence and consequently, instead of being predominantly preoccupied within one of them, the third world, the manifest world, that we establish a point of identification where we live simultaneously and fluidly from a new point of equilibrium within all three worlds. With this acceptance and new point of identification, where we strive to live completely and consciously, simultaneously within the fiery, the subtle and the manifest worlds, we regenerate our thinking as we increasingly bring to expression capacities and knowing from the fiery and subtle worlds into the manifest world. At the same time, we realize that our human identity, our true human identity and destiny resides within the greater life of cosmos. We understand that there is an order to the worlds and that the fiery world is primary and hence the initiating world, followed by the subtle, and finally, the world of incarnated life, of experiment and experience in the manifest world. A new point of identification within the three worlds may also be expressed as union through identification with the whole, not union through realization or vision, but union through identification with the whole through all worlds. And the mystery to this identification is wrought out into manifestation in the furnace of individual experience and thus anchored into the manifest world. Secondly, Nicholas Rorick's paintings, in parallel with the Agni Yoga teachings available in written form, have a role to play in the art of regenerative thinking. The Agni Yoga teachings in text as a series of books, and more recently, Helena Rorick's notebooks, 
are great gifts to all those who resonate with them for understanding and living into being the energies from the fiery and subtle worlds. These word formulations in the manifest world as books can serve as portals or doors in the heart, the unifier of the worlds, through to the underlying energies in the subtle and fiery worlds. Nicholas Rorick's paintings too can serve as portals for entry into the subtle and fiery worlds. We may all like to recall our first encounter with an original Rorick painting and the way we were touched by the psychic energy radiating through it. For me, it was at the Nicholas Rorick Museum and encountering the treasure of the mountain for the first time and experiencing its aliveness that extended beyond its frame and directly into the heart. The living presence of the Rorick paintings, like books, invite us inward into the energies substanding the art form. This psychic energy also radiates through digital and printed reproductions. As each book in the series of Agni Yoga teachings provides entry into the yoga synthesis, we imagine that each painting holds a specific and unique revelatory aspect of the one synthetic energy that is Agni Yoga, the yoga of synthesis. According to Helena Rorick's notebooks, the master says that he wished to endow the paintings with the gift of healing diseases, such that their presence is purifying, and as such, they act like disinfectant and purify space. As we engage in our meditation, we'll see what emerges in relation to regenerative thought that holds the potential to restore us to the treasury of health. It's said that a beautiful thought is a treasure of health. And as we experience the gift of healing from engaging with the waves of psychic energy flowing through the paintings, we in turn radiate those healing waves in our near and distant space. So in addition to working with the books, we can work with the paintings as a process to revitalize, rejuvenate and regenerate the art of thinking inclusive of all worlds. And that is healing and purifying of the space we inhabit the space for which we are guardians. Thirdly, as we cultivate the art of thinking, this conscious regeneration of thinking, where we raise it to a new level by understanding that we live simultaneously in the three worlds, we do so through the heart. The heart is the unifier of the worlds. Our physical hearts are said to be on loan to us for our cycles of incarnated lives in the manifest world, for the purpose of this communion within the one heart, within all worlds. Just as the sun is the heart of the solar system, the human heart, is the sun of our individual organisms. It has been said, let your heart lead you in crossing Santana, the stream or river of life. What we will do now for the meditation is begin with an alignment in the group heart and then spend some time 
observing the painting with our physical eyes before entering the painting within the embrace of the group heart. So let's begin. So take a moment with your eyes closed to center your awareness in your individual heart, which according to the Agni Yoga teachings is called the realm of light. and locate the source of that light, a flame. And we now unite our hearts across distance with all those in the room and in cyberspace as we transfer our individual awareness or flame into the flame of the group heart. And here we are aware of all those working subjectively in communion in the one heart in this service. And let's maintain this creative point of tension in the communion of the one heart throughout this experiment. And when you're ready, open your eyes and take your time to observe the painting entitled Santana through your physical eyes. And a few comments before we observe in silence. Santana means stream or river of life. And in Buddhism, it's customary to compare the chain of our lives with a perpetual current or stream. As we learn to sense the fiery wave of Santana, this light bearing stream, we enter the consciousness of cosmos and can more readily make use of every incarnation. Just as water is the result of the melting of millennial layers of ice, so an effective thought is the result of many centuries of accumulations of the soul as the yogi sits in deep meditation. And allow yourself to be magnetically drawn to observe all elements of the painting that capture your interest its forms, its colors, its light, its energy dynamics. Really see and observe this gift from Nicholas Rorick captured in this art form 
he entitled Santana, the stream or river of life. And when you feel ready, close your eyes and still within the embrace of the group heart, we're now going to identify with the painting and in the process actually enter into it. And you may do this through a fragment of the painting that's captured your attention or the painting as a whole. Either way, your entry recognises that the art form of the painting is a portal to the subtle and fiery world substanding the painting. And once entered, you may notice that what appeared to be a 2D image comes alive. And take your time to explore the living painting and experience the knowing. The knowing that comes from the subtle dimensions through this identification or entry into the livingness of standing the painting. And feel free to be absorbed or saturated in these living, enlivening energies from the subtle dimensions.
and let yourself experience the impact of the energy in the heart. And note what impressions arise in relation to regenerative thinking, the art of thinking that is completely and consciously regenerated through an understanding of the three worlds, the fiery, the subtle, and the manifest. And as the unifier of the worlds, the heart is able to recalibrate to our understanding of the relationship between them. Note any energetic shifts or impressions that arise. And knowing that this painting, Santana, the stream or river of life, is endowed with the gift of healing diseases and that our immersion in it as a group is purifying. See what further impressions arise in relation to healing and purification.
And now we disidentify with the living substance or livingness that gives rise to this painting, knowing that we can return to this at any point at will and transfer our group awareness back to this combined physical and cyber group space and take a moment in silence to allow impressions to anchor as seeds of awareness in the group heart. And as we sound three silent ohms, we distribute the energies contacted through radiatory substitution. Gratitude to everyone for your presence and participation in this service activity. Thank you.